I want to very much encourage the efforts of the Learn and Network and its Parnassa Expo, which is upcoming on February 12th. It's really an amazing thing for us to see this organization develop resources and create a network of support and strength for Parnassa and for businesses of all sizes, large businesses, small businesses. One of the most beautiful things about what Rabdivi is doing with the Parnassa Expo and overall with the Learning Network is to create a global framework that encourages and supports jobs and from businesses. And I think that Divi really understands the intersection of the jobs and the businesses. In the bottom line of a business, you have to service the business. And it's the goal is a noble one. The goal is L'Shem Shemayim, to help people help improve Parnassa. In doing so, you have to protect the interests of the business and ensure that they succeed. And he's really doing that in an unbelievable way by looking globally, what does a business need? Obviously, the first thing any business needs is qualified employees, qualified staff. And that means dedicated staff. So he's carefully vetting the candidates who are out there who are looking for jobs and matching them up to companies that are looking for people and looking for people who are dedicated and loyal and committed. And that's an unbelievable uh, one aspect, an unbelievable aspect of, of, of this organization. Uh, another thing is that for those who are outside of the job market and who are looking to help them improve their skill sets, improve their attitudes, improve their approach so that they become more hireable and they become better assets as they're hired by businesses. Um, the network between businesses, what they call B2B, uh, is doing a magnificent job and I think that this is really the heart of the Parnassa Expo is the B2B side, is let the businessmen see each other from the different fields, from the different industries. Now I know some of you may go, you may go to the real estate show or the shopping plaza show or other industry specific shows and those are phenomenal events that allow a business, a company, to network within its own industry. But for example, if you're in the garment industry, you might not be networking with those in technology or those in credit card payments or others. Now you might, but it's rare to see such a global view of businesses from people who are in the Orthodox Jewish world, in the firm world, who are active in so many different fields, gather under one roof together so that everybody could see what resources are out there and how we can each strengthen each other, do a better job at servicing each other and helping encourage business overall. So the organization has an array of programs, an array of services. The highlight of it, the heart of it is the B2B networking. And this networking, which is upcoming on February 12th, really provides something that to date has not really existed. Well, it has existed again within industry specific. There'll be the Kosher Food Fest and other things like that. And they'll always have some add-ons. But a general business-to-business -business networking event for everybody to see the global scope of services that are available within the community and to help encourage that and build that, that increases the pie. It's not a, it is not a zero-sum game, but it increases the pie that everybody could do a little bit better, that each business can improve what it does. It can find value and trusted vendors, partners, clients, service uh, accounts, and can help strengthen their businesses so that they do a better job for their clients, for their vendors, and for their partners, and increase the overall pie for everybody. I want to give this upcoming event and the entire Learn and Network organization a big bracha representing Beis Medrash Gavaya here in Lakewood. Lee Hart, we have a huge and growing community. Obviously, jobs are always one of the most important things in our mind. We want to see good employment. We want to see a good economy. And we want to see Bali Mishpachas able to provide for and pay for their families. And I want to give a bracha to this organization and to all those who are out there, EPI, PCS, and all the others who are working very closely with Rabdovi to go ahead and strengthen this aspect of Kal Yisrael, which is one of the highest forms of tzedakah, is to go ahead and help people without pulling a dime out of your own pocket, but by simply participating and being a part of this, you're able to do both business and chesed and to strengthen Kal Yisrael as a whole.
Time has come. 